Are you looking for a taupe that's not too light, it's not too dark, it's not too brown, it's not too gray, it just kind of sits right there in the middle, then you might want to try out Sherwin Williams Taupe of the Morning. It's a relatively new paint color, came out about a year ago, and you can find it in the Emerald Designer Edition. I've used this paint color quite a few times over the year, and I can personally tell you it's a beautiful paint color when you pair this correctly. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the undertones of Taupe of the Morning, and yes, the name definitely states that it's a taupe, but there's another undertone that's lurking that you need to know about. And I'm gonna compare it with some other similar taupe paint colors so that you can see what makes it so unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you two trim paint colors that pair really well with taupe in the morning, assuming you have the warm fixed elements to pull it off. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Millstone Gray, which is considered a muted green. Just a little bit of a gray in it. Watch this. When you compare Millstone Gray with Sharon Williams Taupe in the Morning, you're gonna instantly see that little bit of brown, that little bit of gray, and this is what makes it a textbook taupe paint color. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Ashley Gray, which is considered a taupe. Watch this. When you compare Ashley Gray with Sharon Williams Taupe in the Morning, this is where you're gonna notice something a little bit different. If you pay close attention, you're gonna see a slight pink undertone in Taupe of the Morning. And this is an important undertone that you need to be careful with, especially when it comes to comparing this paint color with your fixed elements that you may have in your home. So now you know that it's a taupe paint color and it has a slight pink undertone, but it does always show up, it just depends on the type of fixed elements that you have in your home. Next, I'm gonna compare Taupe of the Morning with some other similar taupe paint colors to help give you a better idea of where this taupe paint color sits in the worlds of taupes. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Pell Oak, which is considered a taupe grayish. Watch this. When you compare Pell Oak with Taupe of the Morning, this is where you're gonna notice how Pell Oak is lighter than Taupe of the Morning, is cooler than Taupe of the Morning, and notice how Taupe of the Morning is warmer than Benjamin Moore Pell Oak. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Egret White, which is considered a taupe grayish. Watch this. When you compare Egret White with Sharon Williams Taupe of the Morning, you're gonna notice how Egret White is cooler than and lighter than Taupe of the Morning. You're also gonna notice how Taupe of the Morning is warmer than Egret White, and if you look carefully, you're gonna see that slight pink undertone in Taupe of the Morning. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Kistrel White, which is considered a taupe grayish. Watch this. When you compare Kistrel White with Taupe of the Morning, you're going to notice a couple of things. You're going to notice how Kistrel White is almost like a creamy taupe. And then you're going to notice how Taupe of the Morning, it just leans more on the gray side. And you're also going to notice if you pay close attention, again, you're going to see that pink undertone in comparison to Kistrel White. So now you know that Taupe of the Morning can be cool, it can be warm, it just depends on the type of colors that you have in your home. And this is why it's so important that you get a paint sample of Taupe of the Morning, compare it with your fixed elements and your interior decor, and be mindful of the type of lighting that you have in your home, because your lighting is going to play a big role on how Taupe of the Morning could look like. And if you don't have a lot of natural lighting, don't be surprised if you see a little bit more of that pink undertone. I want I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. If you're tired of trying sample after sample and you just want to get it right and you don't want to make a costly mistake, I highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. I help thousands of online clients select the perfect paint color for their home. You're going to get a chance to speak to me in a live video call and I'm going to explain to you what will work and what will not work. And then afterwards, you're going to get a detailed color kit that's going to explain to you everything that you need to know. You're going to feel confident knowing that it doesn't matter which paint color you select, you know it's going to work with what you have in your home. I would love to help you and feel free to check out my reviews. I have over 500 reviews. See what clients have to say. Next, I'm going to share with you two trim paint colors that pair beautifully with Taupe of the Morning, assuming you have the right fixed elements 
to pull it off. When it comes to trim paint colors, this is one of the most overlooked aspects of a home where you can add color. It can be a game changer, and when you do it right, it can make your space feel warm, airy, and inviting. The first one I want to share with you is called Benjamin Moore Swiss Coffee. It's a grayish, and when you pair this with Taupe of the Morning, it looks like a light cream, and it's definitely warmer than a warm off-white. It's absolutely stunning. The the second one I want to share with you is called Panda White by Sharon Williams. Panda White has got more depth to it. It's a lot more warmer than Swiss Coffee, and this works really well for those of you that have bossy, warm, fixed elements in your home. For those of you that found this video helpful, please put a like. Let me know. I want to hear from you. And feel free to subscribe if you want to learn everything that you need to know about paint colors. I would love to see you on this channel. And thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.